Welcome back to Hitman 3. We're going for the third mission, which happens to be called Three Headed Serpent. How convenient. Good morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado 
inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Cartel business only. I still can't believe it. Oh, meeting pea power in a local bar in a tiny village like this. I mean, he's only the biggest celebrity tattoo artist in the world. Maybe he's here to see that Delgado guy we've been hearing about. Sounds like he's got money to spare. So, pea power, celebrity tattooist of tattoo torment fame, has come to Santa Fortuna. Presumably to work his magic on Rico Delgado, a known ink enthusiast. Sounds like an invitation to the mansion, 47. Are you feeling expressive? Ooh, could be. <gasps> Lucky guy. I wish I could afford one of his pieces. Ah, uh, his work isn't that impressive. That is Andrea Martinez, the Delgado Cartel PR officer and public face. It's really difficult, I'm working on it. We're all working on it. So the statue is still unstable? Uh, yes, it's Martinez. But as long as no one tampers with it, it's cool. And the band? Is that foundation look entirely stable to you? Well, I'm not Mason, but no. No, it doesn't. Looks to be a little crumbling around the edges. Kind of like Rico, eh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Start you loco! Don't talk about the boss like that, or do we go straight to the heap of all the band? Oh, I've got to go and drain the litter. Drank so much cerveza last night. Well, it's your own fault, Parsi. Drinking that much on the job.
Here's all. Did you see the poster? Rico Delgado coming down to us dirty villagers to unveil some ridiculous statues. Ah, sí. Ahora me acuerdo. Have you heard about David's new friend? She's apparently a really sweet, wealthy American woman. Also, she's 75. So, the ever classy Rico Delgado has commissioned a statue of himself to adorn the village square. Today's unveiling ceremony will feature a local band, and Rico Delgado will attend in person. I suggest you take a closer look, 47. This should be a unique opportunity to engage Delgado outside the walls of his compound. Not judging, just saying. Really? What? What? Oh, must grind her ears finally know how things go her way. I'm sure they're fine. Probably just passed out somewhere, you know? But if we'll find out. Que hubo, pues. That smell of fried fish makes my mouth water. Can't wait to taste those buñuelos. When I first tried it out, I thought that the combination of fish and cheese smelled a bit like armpit. But the aroma has grown on me. My husband nearly lost his arm when that winch broke, but I think he's on the mend now. He got lucky, I guess. So what happened? He says it's better if I don't know. The Delgado cartel is very sensitive around it. So, an employee of the Delgado cartel was injured while working on a secret project in the caves beneath Santa Fortuna. Sounds intriguing. I suggest you locate this man's house, 47. Could be a chance to access the heart of the Delgado cartel. Some sort of secret project. I think they're building something big down in the caves. The problem is he's essential to the project, and now we have Sicarios hanging around our house. They wanted to go back as soon as possible. Sure sounds like you have a lot on your plate at the moment. Tell me about it. I've got to go home and finish the wash. I'll see you tomorrow.
That is P Power, real name Paul Powers, celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. Mate, I'm telling you, I've been in some crazy shit before, but this takes the cake. Mm -hmm. I know where I'm supposed to be right now. Delgado Mansion. Just knock on the front gate, they say. And then what? Walk in and tattoo the world's most notorious cartel boss. I can see how that's not easy. I haven't. Just for fun. Imagine what you do to me if I messed up. Are you sure he's dangerous? His wife and people look out for Back off. I'll check it out. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Killer. Okay. Good job. No, no, no. It's you! P Power! Oh, it's really oh my god! I am your biggest fan. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the
that power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to frisk him. You're not coming this way unless I buy you down first. That's not open for discussion. You're entering the lion's den, 47. Tread carefully. Practically everyone here is de dangerous, not least Rico Delgado himself. Ah, no se preocupe, don't swear, it's just routine. Okay, All right, you're Mr. Good Bowen. To go. Pongale, Follow pongale. me to the house. Mrs. Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. She'll take you to Rico afterwards. My sister got a tattoo once. It was supposed to be a tribute to her son, but the guy fucked it up. Baby Gustavo ended up looking like a dead chupacabra. When my brother-in-law saw... Hang on there. That's not the way. So famous tattoo artist, huh? I put some ink on skin as well in my time. Of course, most of that was in prison, and not always on people who appreciated the work. You know how hard it is to tattoo traitor on a guy's forehead while he's squirming around on the ground like a worm? Not easy, let me tell you. That's quite a story. I know. That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. You bet. Oh my god! Ay, qué rico que eres, oh. It's really you, Big Power. They're tattoo it's hipsters. It's such an honor to meet nowadays. you. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart on the arm of the dead dying policeman while they're administrating CPR. <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Oh, see. So. Rico has this tattoo on his neck, and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico, let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Yay! <laughs> just look this way. Oh, que si, wow, we look so good together. This is great. So far, so good, 47. Now to leave your mark on Mr. Delgado. So, this is the famous P. Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is P. Power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. OK, fine. Whatever you say. OK, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. You are really getting on my nerves now. It's not every day we have celebrities visiting, you know? I find well, your constant photography looks, uh, very annoying, dear. I'm sorry that my social life is ruining your concentration. Whoa, hey, Rico, don't worry. I've got this under control. Hey, the two guy. I'm watching you. One wrong move, you know, I start peeing. You hear me? Hey, listen, you're taking this new bodyguard job a little too seriously, Jose. He's a stranger, Rico. 
I don't like his face. Hey, I need you to stand down. Stop waving that thing around. No way. I'm letting my guard down around this stranger, Rico. Are you doing this just to annoy me, Kat? I'm just grabbing a few shots for the socials. Relax, Rico. It's very distracting, Kitty Cat. Please stop now. What's the problem? You don't even have to do anything. I need you to calm down a bit, Jose. Better safe than sorry, boss. You're taking it too far, Jose. No guns. Afraid I can't do that, but... You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. I wouldn't want to stab you by accident. You heard the man, Catalina. Leave us now. Fine. Have it your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Calm down, all right? Everything's okay here. Just making sure the script doesn't try anything funny. Put the gun away. I'm fine. No, 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 no. I'm not willing to take any risks here, Hefe. So what are we waiting for, huh? I'm here. I'm ready. Get on with it. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, Quayon. Oh, finally. So peace and quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. Time flies when you're having fun. Did you hear Javier stole the love letter Hector Delgado wrote for Martinez? Had to jump out of a window before Hector discovered. Central, me está escuchando. Still looking, no sign of any trouble. This place is under lockdown. Hold on. Did you hear Javier stole the love letter Hector Delgado wrote for Martinez? Had to jump out of a window before Hector discovered him. I think he hurt his leg in the process. Yeah, I heard. 
given past the letter around the basement bar at the party last night. Weird to think Hector and Martinez used to be an idol. I mean, he's batshit crazy. She's so hyper luxurious. She can't even stand to be in her village mansion for too long. Talk about an old couple. Yeah, I love to see her face if she ever found a letter, though. Huh. Rico Delgado's brother Hector is trying to win back his old flame, Andrea Martinez. Apparently, Hector has authored a rather slushy love letter. For one of the Sicarios foolhardily stole it from Hector's room during last night's party. I suggest you acquire that letter, 47. From what we know about Martinez, a declaration of love from Hector is bound to provoke a reaction. Rumor has it, she hates him. That's my impression as well. That's for Hector. He's still crazy about it. Senor, I feel you're violating my personal space here.
Ah, crap. Hey, uh, Central, it's me. We got someone out cold on the ground here. Just doing a quick exam. Come on, snap out of it. Get on your feet. Whoa. What's going on? Do we know each other? Someone hit me over the head? Where am I? Sick. Tell me the truth, Green. I understand you have a certain letter in your possession. Yeah? Maybe. So what?
Christmas. That looks fast. This thing right here. You or no? You need to stop whatever you're doing, Gringo. Hey, you am serious. You are not fooling me. Oye, Bobica, can you believe this guy? You know this man? Hey, you. You got earplugs in? Hey, sunshine. Great to see somebody doing their job. <laughs> yeah, poor Hector. Miss Martinez still won't give him the time of... I have a letter Don't from Miss Martinez. Mom. All right, let me see that. Is that from Hector? I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, let me enlighten you. Hector Delgado and Andrea Martinez were an item once. Explosive and deadly. Things did not end well between them. He wants them to get back together. She wants them to go to hell. She's not accepting letters, or gifts, or anything from him. And neither am I. You put it on her desk yourself if it's so important to you. She's got high standards. Amazing, yes. Okay. Let no one say I think I hear your master whistling for you, boy. Go on, shoo! Well, if you're looking for exclusivity, we're really going to need to make it official. Oh, you are so smooth.
Well done, 47. This should be good. Just a letter. Probably just some pitiful cry for help or some shit like that. Let's just read it and get it over with. Ah, oh, to hell with it. Let's see what that fool has to tell me. Great to see somebody doing their job. Martinez is down. Good work. This is how Andres has started working out and he's the other and then her brother. Yeah, he's definitely having an affair. Martinez wants to talk to the shaman so urgently. Why doesn't she just get him herself? She's got a lot in her mind. Grace be moment, friend. Let the sounds and lights of your surroundings caress your minds and spirits. Fancy machine my ass. It's a giant lump of metal inside a shed. Either way, the 
So, it sounds like the Delgado's helicopter pilot dropped a package over the jungle by mistake. A red box containing circuit boards for Jorge Franco's new cocaine processing machine. Hmm. Sounds like a workplace accident waiting to happen, providing Franco can get his machine working. What is it? I think you're right. I'm right on you.
just can't help feeling that I'm growing as a person. I mean, just That is Jorge Franco, the Delgado Cartel's chief chemist. Mm, excellent. These are strong. The new strain looks to be able to handle itself, despite the bumbling efforts of the humans assigned to take care of it. So, so fresh and delicious. <laughs> Together, we shall make sweet, sweet magic. <laughs> I saw a horrible man strangling this poor person. It's, it's something really bad is happening. Hey, stop it. I saw a guy who's actually uh, trying to suffocate uh, someone. What's going on? What, somebody I see the man got out to be too strong. Who do you think you are? There's a body right over there. Somebody might have to die in there. OK, I'll leave with it now. Hey, are you there? Come, Pick up! Hey, escucha! Escucha, listen! You need to get out now! Senor, you see me pushed out running around over there. You must have seen the son of a beast. Anyone copy? I'm still looking. Okay, I'll check it out. I don't find a problem yet. Thank you, thank you. You've done your part. Now leave it to the pros. Oh. 
Escucha, Central. I'm here and everything looks clear. Oiga, come mierda. I know you're here. Come out before a stool. <laughs> Change the president with a robot for once. Yeah. But remember that guy who said, Yell Tom. Time to bring Franco down to size. Hey, Juanita. Hey, we got a guy here bad. Oh, they make you go. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, thank you. I'll take him. Hey, wick your ass up. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll be right out. I... Just... So who's our guy? Share that information, please. Could be anyone. I don't know. Oh, look at that. It runs again. <laughs> hey, hey, look at how smooth it's running. That is, hey, assholes. I need to call something in now. I'm sorry to say, but we're still out here hunting in the dark. Didn't see a face. in people's heads. Can you tell me anything about who we're looking for? Hey, I didn't see anything. What is that? What is it? This, this room. Me Central. I'm here and everything looks clear. Suddenly overcome with joy. See, this is what happens when focus is applied alongside proper work ethics. This is the future, people. Well, why are they still standing here? Surely they can see the machine is working perfectly now. We have no need for them anymore. They are excused to go back home to their sad little lives in the village. That is all, guard. Please escort these people from the room. We want to be alone in here. All right, everyone. Follow me. Dios me. All right, everyone. Follow me. Dios me. It's... It's perfect. No longer will we have to deal with those people out there. All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit.
I have keys. I need to take care of. I don't know what to do now. Assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Okay, well, once again, I ended up chasing some dead end leads, but I think I got taken care of a pretty uh, decent time there. Let's uh, head on to the next one. <laughs> Tomorrow, this is like the sixth one I did today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. On the left, you will find the subscribe button. Please subscribe if you have not already. And the button on the right will take you to another video of mine that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Please click the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I make several a week, usually with different games. If you have a suggestion for a specific game you would like to see, please leave me a comment. And thank you.